Five minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Ismar Blagoy in the long black shorts. Carl Manning in the green trunks with the black trim. Blagoy out very fast in that southpaw stance. Looking to connect early and he shoots and completes a very nice double. Body lock here against the cage. You see just immediately going to pull the hips out. Good wrist grip there to fold inside. You see that right hand. Now body lock on the wrist grip. Yeah, he was spot on there, Josh. He certainly yeah. wants to get this one to the ground. Yeah, he did, did all the hard work there, but he's had to go back to a conventional single here, switch it off to the double, and if he connects those hands... There we go, easy completion there. Good work there, taking Manning for the ride early. Yeah, but you see, he's got to keep him here, and Manning is going to try and climb up the fence, build that post. Oh, he does a great job of pulling the hips back down. Oh, big shots already from Blagoy. Is a horrible start for Cahill Manning, exactly where he did not want to be. We asked Blagoy for his thoughts on making his uh, his second professional experience with Cage Warriors. He had a very simple, very succinct one-word answer, redemption. He wants to put that first pro fight behind him, and he looks to be doing so in style here. Yeah, he's moved him out pretty easily there, actually. He didn't really have to work the pass all that much. He's going to try and maintain some back control here as Manning curls over, and he's got a neck crank. Big neck crank. Manning's got to address this. Oh, that looks thoroughly unpleasant there. A huge, huge twist on the neck. It's, it's not a choke, but it's uh, it's putting a great deal of crank through, and he survives, does a good job of fighting that hand. Manning obviously training out of uh, Team Rhino and the coach Andy Ryan. Yeah, very, very solid jiu-jitsu in that gym. He's done a good job of stripping that choking arm to the other side of his body, but it's not going to help him because Blagoy has managed to get that body triangle on the top side. It is going to be very hard for Manning to shift, especially if he gives up the belly down position. I think he's in the glove. And the referee just warning fighters that you cannot hold the glove. Manning's got to turn hard, get, get over to his left side, try and put some pressure on that body lock. Uh, forces the switch, actually, that's good scramble. Manning just trying to get out from under his man here, but easier said than done. Oh, and he flips him! Good, Sumagashi sweep with that one hook. See what he can do on top now. He's got a good underhook, gripping on the shoulder. Leg lock attempt from... Blagoy, though, if he can get that leg across, and he cannot. Nicely shut down from Manning. Blagoy was trying to get that, that right leg all the way over and try and turn the body of Manning, force him to put the hands on the ground. And the corner team asking Manning to step back there and let that man up, but he catches Blagoy with a big shot. Yeah. He's left the leg in, though. He has. He's, he's gone to outside Ashy here, and... He's going to get punched in the face for his troubles if he's not careful. Well, he lost control of the end of the leg. Blagoy not able to secure that foot yet. Oh, going calf crush, though. Could be a calf crush here if he can triangle his legs. What a finish this would be. He's got a deep calf crush in here. Manning not looking to be particularly in any kind of pain here, but all that could change very quickly. Yeah, I think just the, the, the it's the meat of the shin rather than right down at the ankle, and he's free now. Blagoy cut on the forehead, it looks like, or towards the top of the head. Yeah, that's a, that's a big cut. Can't quite see the grip that uh, Manning's going for on the counter footlock here, though. It's been an interesting seven days for cuts in MMA. <laughs> And it looked like maybe that big overhand while he was in the butt scoop position from Carl Manning may have been the shot that cut him. That, that's the thing, if you go for the legs and you don't turn your opponent away and force them to commit their hands to the mat, you are going to get punched. It doesn't look like any of that blood's going in the eyes of uh, Blagoy. You know, that makes it a tough round for the judges to score because Blagoy's done most of the good work here, especially if he can complete this takedown. He's going to look to go Kimura roll. Manning looking very, very confident in his ability to stop that initial shot from Ismar Blagoy there. It's a big, heavy sprawl. I mean, I wonder if he feels like he's weathered the storm from Blagoy. At least the worst of it, moving behind to this side right position now. And he's only got 15 seconds. It's just punishing from here with the hands. Yeah, the corner team just wanting to go and throw some shots there. 
Manning putting in the work here at the end of the first round. Yeah, coming up well was Blagoy at the end. That's a tricky round for the judges to score because you've got to think back to the fact that Blagoy earned the takedown. He took the back. He had what was a legitimately vicious neck crank in. And yeah, fine, he ate one shot that cut him, but he had some other good sub attempts. It's a tougher round for the judges to break down than you, you might think. Was taking a look at some of the action now from that first round, and this was the initial takedown from Blagoy. Yeah, did such Firmly a in control there. Yeah, did such a good job of controlling the hips throughout this whole sequence. You see, he got some of his own ground and pound in. He passed the mount very seamlessly just after this. And of course, you know, this is the neck crank, and honestly, this looked very close. Got a real pivot on the neck. And he forced it, forced a lot of defense from Manning. Uh, giving Manning a good look at his own back for uh, for once there. And you know what? If that was the shot that cut him, it wasn't a huge concussive shot. It was just one of those glancing blows that clearly a stiff part of the glove must have just nicked a bit of scar tissue or something. Yeah, the, the top of your head, right if you back, are right cut back, there, it's right where back. your blood pressure is right highest back, and the right cuts back. do bleed more right and look a lot worse than they actually are. But one of the best cut men in the game, Joe Clifford's done some good work on that between rounds. Yeah, I mean, honestly, having seen the impact of that shot, uh, Pushes that first round a little bit more in Blagoy's favour. Let's see if we get that big, fast start from Ismar Blagoy. When well, he's going to look to connect, and you see straight away big overhand right trying to find his way in. And what I like about that is he really committed to those shots. You know, they weren't just like, oh, I'm going to put my hands in your face to try and distract you. They were going to legitimately hit you and, and use that to earn the hits. Done a good job connecting the hands here. This is where he's going to keep him down. Oh, triangle entry. Oh, Blagoy's in trouble here. Those are long legs from Manning. This hey. is a bad spot for the Balkan ball. Yeah, he's up in a crooked guard, tries to give up Mount to get out, but this is horrible position for him. Oh, big elbows. Trying to reopen that cut. Is the Galway kid. Yeah, and he, he feels confident here. He's not trying to lock up this triangle. He's kind of taking his time. Oh. <laughs> Playing peekaboo here. Blagoy's got a bridge. He can find a way out. There's, there's plenty of space for him to get out. He's just got a bridge. Referee's taking a close look at this one. He's not going to let Blagoy just take shots here without attempting, at least, to get out of this position. Yeah, Blagoy hasn't really employed a big, a big bridge of the hips here. He's trying to do it all with the arms. And he's called it. The referee stopped and it's over. Cahal Manning with the victory there in the second round. I think that's a fair stoppage. I mean, you notice how, look, the triangle was there all along, but he was so confident in that pinning position. You really saw him just say, you know what, I've got this. I'm just going to keep the work rate going. Uh, I think that's a really good uh, second round and a good performance in the end from Cahal Manning because he had to come through some adversity. Well, we thought taking a look towards the end of that, sequence that the referee was considering stepping in there and look the what we're looking for in these situations is intelligent defense now that doesn't mean just holding up your guard and blocking the shots coming in you have to be actively working to either reverse the position or to escape from the position and ultimately the referee will not let you continue to take shots like that let's take a look at some of the action that led up to this finish here, throws those legs up, long, long limbs, and secures the triangle entry here. Trying to pull the arm over, eventually sweeps over into the crooked guard position, then takes the mount with a mounted triangle almost, and a, a relentless stream of shots there, forcing Simon Small to call a stop to that one. Let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Simon Small, has called a stop to this bout after one minute and 36 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of TKO in the red corner, Kahal, the Galway Kid, Manny. A second round submission for the Galway Kid, and he will join my broadcast colleague, Josh Palmer, in the cage. I'm here, 
I'm here with our winner, Cahill Manning. Cahill, congratulations on the win and, and finding uh, that, uh, that first win of your pro career. Give us your thoughts on, on the fight and how you're feeling right now. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It started around, I thought it was fucked. But all is well now, sorry. But uh, yeah, look, I'm just happy just to get the win, you know. He was strong as a bull, I knew that was going to be. Um, I just had to stay calm, I knew I was in a bad position. And I knew I had the fitness just to last, you know. He, he came out very fast in that first round, got the takedown, got a nasty neck crank as well. Um, but you seem to really settle into the end of that first round. Did you feel the bout and the momentum going your way? Yeah, like, you know, I've been, for the last year, two years with all the lads, being put into bad positions and trying to work out of them, stay calm, work out of them. Like, if I had done anything wrong there, I was gone. Just a glance over your shoulder for me here and talk us through the finish. This was the mounted triangle. Yeah, I got him in the triangle. I couldn't really get a, the finish in it. So I just said I'd stay hitting them and the boys were roaring, keep going, so that's all I just did. Well, it's a, a good performance from you. Uh, just final word, how does it feel to get the win uh, on Cage Warriors return to Ireland? It's been a while for us. Ah, uh, look, it's lovely. Ireland has so many fighters other than just one club. We need to be getting more of these shows to give every other club a go. You know, there hasn't been a show in Galway as well in how long. Come to Galway, there's plenty of fighters there to fight. These lads here alone. Let's do this. If you're going to go, let's go. We're all here. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Cahill Manning.